everybody, welcome back to part 8 of our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Let's Play. Last time, we, we beat Race the Standard, which was uh, the only two-parter map in the whole game. So that took quite a while, and today we're just going to continue where we left off. Let's get started. The Liberation I believe the chapter where we're on is the one with the swamp, which shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there's the swamp map, definitely. Like I said, it's not that it's not a bad map actually. It's probably one of the fewer like you know like like pretty casual maps. You would have to like not be paying attention at all to like lose. You get a game over and stuff like that, but yeah, it's, it's not hard. Let's hear this disastrous war plan. He didn't think about that one. He said, I'm out of here. And we're at the base, so let's prepare. We're gonna start off right away by going into the info tab. We got some uh, new conversations. And Palis is gonna give us an item. I don't think that's true. I don't know about you. <laughs> Considering taking a look at her stats, I don't think that's true at all. Ha <laughs> 
Alright, let's see what that item Pele is going to give us. I think it gives us a skill or something like that. Yeah, so basically Zuka found him because he's an orphan. That's basically his his uh, origin. He's like from an orphan from like uh, some like backwater place in Dane. Oh yeah, they're bringing the subhumans back. Oh, here's the item. Now that mark uh, means more than uh, she let on, so but you'll find out eventually. Oh no, she get, he gets just a brave sword. Okay. I mean, it's still pretty good though. Uh, I ain't gonna give that brave sword to. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Edward. Why not? It's not like he can't use it anyway, because he already can. And no one's gonna get that hammer. That'll be useful. He has a steel lens equipped on him, but I'm gonna give that to. Where's Aaron at? Gonna give it to him. Uh, I'm not gonna say yet. I forgot about this part. So, I wanted to mess with the supports a bit. There we go, now it's B. Okay. So now they get a better support now. Nolan, uh, I don't know who I should make his support partner. Lara, for sure, Aaron. Yeah. She gets plus one defense, which is really useful. She does. She doesn't need the hit, but the avoidance is really useful. Okay, she can't streak them anymore. Uh, Liana and. Nolan? 
Sure, why not? Let's do it. I've never tried this before, but yeah. Plus one defense. Oh, plus three hit. Okay, that actually works in plus eight avoidance. That, that would actually be useful. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to take a look at the new units. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so we got Fiona now. I'll go over her once we start. Let's see. Okay, she starts off with a javelin. I do not like that. I mean, I, mean, I do like that, but the steel lance is what I meant. Um, she's gonna need an iron lance. I don't like how she's. I mean, it's like the the lance is good enough, but she doesn't need it right now because she can't really use it. Yeah, so. I might keep that seal lens on her if, in case she, she is able to, whenever she's able to use it again. Zyukark has a killing edge. Uh, you don't need that yet. Gonna get that, uh, buy an iron sword and give it to Zyukark. There we go. I'm gonna make sure real quick we're all good on equipment. I'm gonna store that Paragon. And I'm gonna try to sell that red gem real quick. Um, Edward, you're good. Leonardo's good as well. Uh, I'm gonna store that chest key though. That way, if Silk needs to use it, he can. Nolan's good. Aura's good. Leanna's good. Aaron's definitely good. I think Jill's good. But I'm going to give her an iron axe just to be safe. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about Jill was in the previous game, she used Lance only. That's how that's what her class letter used, Lances. But in this game, they changed it to where instead of Lances, now it's Axes, as you can see. So she can't use Lances anymore, unfortunately. But yeah. Keep trying to save it. Um, Alright, let's go with the XP. We're gonna need to buff up Fiona because I actually want to use her this run. It should be an interesting run with her. Yeah, she's not getting the best level ups in the world, unfortunately. Okay, she got defense. I'm okay with that. What about... Where is Laura? Uh, yeah, that's a good, decent level up. Nice, not bad. Okay, she's getting some decent level ups. Luck, alright. Level 15, oh, speed. Nice. That was, these are some good level ups. I don't think I can give her anymore. Yeah. Wait, can I? Nah, I can't. Alright. That's okay. Can I use any skills on these guys? What if- Oh, I wonder... Can I give... Uh, I wish I could give Paragon. Dang. That would be really good on Fiona. I'm, I'm gonna definitely give that to her when it, if she can promote. I'm gonna save it right here and I'm gonna forge a weapon. Ooh, 
Where is the forge? What I want to buff up is the hit rate. Crit rate as well. Buff it to 9. Or reduce the weight a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yes, so this is what I wanted to do. This is what the coins are for. So the coins, what you do is you kind of play like a little card game with them. The way you get coins, uh, there's two different ways. So the first way is if you, all those coins from the Path of Radiance game, you couldn't use those in this game, they're for this game. You transfer your save and it gives you all your coins and you know, you have a bunch of coins here. The second way is you just play this game and you get them normally, you know, like how I just got them. And whenever you play that card game, uh, basically it gives you some bonuses on top of the weapon, which is really useful. So let's see if I can get lucky. Yeah, let's use it. Yeah, so we gotta pick a card. I'm gonna pick the middle one. Okay, so I got the soldier card, and what that does, I get plus one hit and plus ten hit. So that's pretty useful. Now, sometimes there is, uh, there is one card that doesn't do anything at all. And if you draw that card... It's just bad luck. Nice. Let's name it. Uh, we will name it... Beat up near. Brown fire on the mate. We'll give it to Fiona. All right, and that's really everything. Now we can proceed. I just wanted to give her an item, and I wanted to show that coin on how those coins worked. Because I wanted to show that off. I just wanted to show it off, and I need to give her an item at the same time to keep, make her kind of buffed up a little bit because she needs that crutch. Oh, never mind. This isn't the swamp map. It's the prison map. Huh. Never mind that on uh, taking it easy on this map. This map is actually kind of hard. The major issue I have with this map is the archers and the mages. Because there's, a, there's an, ab an abundance of them. Alright, how to begin. Now, uh, can I, uh, yes. Okay, so I can't bring, you cannot bring Teronio in this map, which is like, you know, I told you his availability is terrible. So yeah, uh, we will be bringing, uh, I can't bring that many. Um, I'm kind of thinking of either benching Leanna or Nolan, because I want to bring in Jill and Fiona. Well, no, I don't think I should bring Jill right now. She doesn't need to be brought in. Definitely somebody to bring in Fiona. I think I'm gonna have to bench, uh, not no, or, uh, Liana. Because there's all the archers. Hold on. Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, all these guys got steel weapons now. Oh, that just got a polyax. I can't send her up there. Steel lance. Shh. 
Yeah, there's that Elfire. Elwind. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, good thing I didn't bring Jill. There's that Archer I was talking about. Oh, he's another one. Oh, that dude's got a Longbow. Yeah, there's a bunch of Archers here. It, and uh, reinforcements do show up, by the way. This map is kind of a pain for your mages because these guys have all have steel weapons and they like... They, they can kill them really easily, you know? You don't want to bring in your mages. So, I'm going to explain something real quick about Fiona. Okay, so... She... Is... It's not that good, though. She's, she's really not. But the thing is that she's not as bad as people say she is. Because, uh... She started... She, I, I think what they were going for her... Is that they wanted to make her a weak unit at the beginning. But, like, her stats, uh get really good you know as time goes on she's like a super growth unit i think that's what they call it but the thing is is that uh her growth isn't as good as uh you would think a super growth unit would be so because of that depending on your playthrough she may or may not be good i know there are runs on youtube where people do like a fiona only run and they try to like see if they can get a good fiona out of it it just really depends on your luck but the main pain with her though is that it's really her stats they don't start out good enough so you gotta. So if you want to use Fiona, you gotta. It's not really worth it for your first playthrough because you basically you're just saying, should I really like risk giving her XP because she's not that good at the beginning and she doesn't. She may or may not get good at all. But like like I said for this one, I, I definitely want to try to use her and try my luck. Now she does get uh, imbue, which is uh, that's all right. N nothing like you know too too good. But Savior's pretty good though. You don't want to be using that on her, though, unfortunately, because, you know, she's already slow as it is. But, yeah. Alright, I got a Leonardo here. Why are you there? Um... I could definitely go this way. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll do this. Definitely do not want to send Fiona up the top because, uh... That dude with the Poliax. I'll show you guys real quick. Okay, so we got a season this map. Alright, makes sense. So I gotta explain something. Uh, there he is. So the way uh, a Poliax works in this game, it works just like in the other games. They're super effective against uh, Riders. Uh, I don't remember if they're effective against Flyers, but they are effective against Bounted Units, like your Cavaliers and your Paladin. So, yeah, definitely not gonna send her there. Gotta check the range on this guy. Let me put that Iron Lance. Iron Lance. So what I usually like to do is just send Micaiah and Soth through the middle. That's just my strat. Could have gone a little bit better in my opinion, but yeah. Ooh, that hit harder than I thought it would. Uh, this could be a problem. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta think of something quick here. All right, I got, I gotta like, uh, I may have just messed up here. Wait, I gotta see. All right, Aaron doesn't double that guy. Yeah, I didn't think he would. Hey, you got some resistance though. So that's all right. Don't kill him. Thank you. Make I need set XP. Okay, dude, think he doesn't move. Oh, yes. I forgot about these guys. The forgettable trio, as I like to call them.
Tormod. Let's go wild. <laughs> oh, man. And he's like the only one who can't transform into a Lagoose. Shout out to Brian and Archer, because those are pretty effective against mages in this game since they got nerfed. Alright, so I'm gonna explain something. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this part before I go to those units. This is a building, and the doors are right here. You gotta open you open them up, and I, but there's people inside. And I think treasure chests, so yeah. Definitely use those for that. Okay, so I gotta go over these guys real quick. So, the Forgettable Trio... Aka Marim, Vika, and uh, Tormod. So these guys are the best units in the whole game, like all three of them. But you're probably thinking, Christian, man, why are you calling them the Forgettable Trio? Come on, if they're the best units in the game, I mean, why, why are they bad? Well, here's the thing: what Brady and Don doesn't tell you is that they only show up, I think, for like the remainder of Part One, and then like the finale, like the last three chapters of the game. So you're probably like, what? What, what kind of, like, who decided that? And exactly, that is my point. So, they are the best units in the whole game, but they only show up for, like, the remainder of part one and, like, three total chapters. That's a pretty big joke. So, as you can see, like, if you look at their stats, yeah, they're pretty good. Like, all around. And the crazy thing is that they start off really good, but they have room to grow, which is pretty insane. And yet they only, like, they don't even let you, like, uh, so basically, like, the reason I don't like using these guys, because they're pretty fun to use. Like, look at Tormod. I remember in, uh, Path of Rains, he was, like, the one of the worst units in the game, and now he's, like, the best unit in the game. Like, you see, this is what you want the Sage to look like. I mean, like, look at those stats. Woo! Pretty good. And then you got, like, his skill is pretty good, too. He has some, like, good stuff all around. But, uh, the reason I don't, I do not like using these guys is basically the game goes, like, alright, here. You get the three best units in the whole game, play around with them, and they just takes them away from you until like the last chapters. That's why I don't like using them. I, if I if I were you guys, I wouldn't get used to. I don't get comfortable using them because they ain't gonna be here for long. Like you'll forget about them, and then by the time you get to like the last three chapters, you'll probably like, oh, I, I remember these guys. What in the world happened to them? Yeah. Because uh, the whole gimmick with them is that they tra they're traveling merchants, I guess you could say. Not really merchants, but they. Are they merchants? I can't even remember. You see, like, that's the problem. They are for, uh, the forgettable trio. Can't even remember what they did. Alright, so, uh... God, I'm trying to think of the best strategy here. I gotta heal up, uh, Edward, because he took a nasty hit. Or are you gonna move? Uh, not if I position you right. Hold on. Okay, yeah, this this will work. Just get Leonardo. Yeah. Can you get that crit? No, you can't. All right, that's all right. Boom. Perfect. Nice. And Mikai can finish off the night. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Um, okay, there's gonna be a problem. What if I move you here? If I do this. Yes. Lock off that entrance and I can just do this. Perfect. Alright, uh, let me see Fiona real quick. Yeah, I don't know about this, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know how this run is gonna go. <laughs> go away. Uh, two damage? Oh, man, I, I'm doing it, and she doesn't even double him, and she's on a horse. 
Oh man, do I get du okay? I don't get double though, and I steal lance. Okay, uh. Crap. This is a problem. Trying to think of what I can do here. Because I. I sent my uh, third unit up there with them at Leonardo. Because Edward took a big hit. I mean, she does dodge a little bit, but man. Um. What about you, Aaron? What do you got? Let's try this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, she could kill him. I think. Hold on. Can you? Or can you not? No, no, you can't. Dang. But what you can do, though, is... Uh, you do this, and... uh. Oh, no! Bumps! They're gonna steal my XP! Crap. I didn't think of that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that part through. <clears throat> yeah, just watch Torma take all, tank all the hits like nothing. Oh, actually, no, never mind. I think I might be good. Get a crit. Nah. Oh, wait, you don't double. I forgot. Insta kill that dude. I think the only time I actually have seen her die, the, but the only time that that will ever, ever happen is uh, you just gotta watch out for that wind med mage. She does do a good job though of staying clear of them, but yeah, you do, still be careful with that. All right, I'm getting rid of you. Eh, it's not that much XP, but hold on. Hold on, what is your resistance actually? It's not that bad actually, compared to what I thought it was gonna be. What do you got? Steel ants. He doesn't move though. But the thing is that if I use Volug, he's gonna kill him. Any? Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. Hold on. If I position you here. She's not gonna crit. Would have been nice, but yeah. Alright. Uh, this is kind of some bad, terrible idea, but uh, let's try this out. It's probably a bad idea, and to be fair, it likely is, but like, uh, I still want to try it. It may or may not work. Alright, see what happens. Oh, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Yes. Thank you. Ah, come on, Volug. Door key. Eh, you can use that to open it up. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. I forgot about that mage. Um... Okay. Uh, yeesh. Use the bronze dagger on him. <coughs> eh, he leveled up. Uh, that was alright. Ooh! Good first level up. Yeah. 
Yikes. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Um, uh, I guess Volo can get the kill? I, don't, I really don't know who to use against him. I can't use Mikai because he's going to die. What do you got? Okay, you got an Iron Blade. Uh, well, that ain't good. Let's see who's lower level. Yeah, you're lower level. You, you need the kill. Perfect. Uh, that level up ain't perfect, though. We'll just do this to get a little bit of a support bonus. I guess I can send her back up here now. Um, okay. I think there's a ledge up here somewhere. Yeah, right here, the gap. Okay. Uh... Man, I don't like that Hellfire, but, you know. Hold on. Oh, uh, where's that javelin at? Here it is. This is what I can do. You could break the door, but I don't want to do that. Because I already have a thief. Or I could just use this guy. Door. There you go. Um. Ah, you don't reach him. This probably isn't gonna work. Hold on. Man, that hits hard. Oh man, that and it, yeah, it ain't even gonna hit. Oh. Might as well climb back up. Can you dismount? No, that's not how it works. I have to go back all the way I came from. Yeah. Might as well open this door, I guess. Why not? I'm not gonna move Micaiah. Yeah, um, ah, man, that guy with the iron blade, though. What if I do this? Okay. I, th I think that can work. Let's do Iron Axe, though. Because that dude's got a blade. That could be a problem. Alright, so that opened that up. Perfect. Converse, yeah. Start moving her up. Okay. Good thing I equipped that iron axe instead of the steel axe. That would have been bad. Okay, you're gonna... Uh, you're gonna do this. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Here's what you're gonna do. We, I'm gonna heal Volg. Yeah. I am worried about those mages. Nice. Get that sweet XP. Start moving Nolan up and Edward, too. Okay. Yikes. Oh. Ooh. I didn't see this coming. Oh, come on, man. Yo. Dude. What's going on here? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, 
No. I timed that wrong. Hold on. Crap. <laughs> oh no, man. What did I just do? Crap. I think I messed up big time. Um. What did I just do? Sword, a hand axe, and a javelin, man. He does 11 damage? And this dude dub- Oh my- Damn. I think I messed up. Oh no. I wish I had a rescue staff right about now. Hold on. Yeah, those stats are amazing right there. I wish, I wish Fiona was like that. Defense. Damn, man, that's strength. Um... Alright, so I'm gonna equip that Iron Lance. Okay, it's, got, it's like a problem way too bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to send Volok down. Hope, I hope she does not die. I really hope no. Uh, I'm gonna send Aaron down. I did not think of this well. He's just got a hand axe. All right. I got. I gotta see. Uh, mm. Oh no! Come on! Oh my God, dude! Fiona! All right. Are you guys get out? All right. <laughs> Woo. Oh man, I gotta worry about these guys. Aaron can deal with. Uh... No, no, you can't, Aaron. Hold on. Serious? Deal with these guys. All right, I gotta, th I gotta get feeling out of there, like right now. Oh, that's a good level up. Pop that Wolverine now. <laughs> oh man, that was a close call. All right, I gotta get rid of this guy somehow. Javelin. Steel Lance. Yeah, we'll get we'll get rid of this guy instead. Ooh. Ah. Bad level up. Perfect. Heal up Torm out here. Oh, I actually just realized that these guys don't have vulnerabilities. Well, everybody does except for this guy for some reason. All 
Alright, um... Who's left? Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'll do this. Hopefully we should be good. One for Leonardo. All right. Wait. Oh no, why did you do that? No. Why did he do that? That's going to be a problem now. Not got to worry about him. Hey, that was a good level up though. Um, wonder if Fiona can deal with them now. Nah, no she can't. Dang, uh, at least he's dead. I gotta send Leonardo over there to help him. Thing is, I gotta get rid of that mage, like, right now. That's not gonna work with Leonardo. Oh, not Leonardo, Edward. He's got no resistance. Um, let's do this. Oh, he's a wind edge. All right, see what happens. Okay. Okay, it's a good thing those mages don't actually move then. But those do, though. Um, let me take a quick look at these guys. Uh, man. These mages. Okay. What if I use a regular sword? What are your stats looking like? Uh, uh <coughs> Marin could probably take the hit, but Vika could probably die. And I'm assuming this guy has a storm sword. Of course he does. Hellfire. Trying to think here. Uh, will that kill him? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, it will. Hopefully. As long as it hits. Please hit. Thank you. I can't have Edward dying. Man, these are some bad level ups.
Alright, that was pretty good. Uh... Heal up, um, Leonardo. Okay, it's a good thing nobody moved. Ooh. Man, these guys hit pretty hard. I think that, uh, hopefully Mikaya will be good, because we're still that. Whoa! Press back, press back. God, that kills. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm going to have to use the hammer for this guy, because, uh, let's see here. Can't be using that. Yeah, but this will kill him. Oh, that didn't kill him. But McKay, I think, can now. Hopefully. As long as this hits. Yeah. Decent level up. There we go. Um, am I missing anybody? Okay, bold. Gonna move him. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, nice. No, you idiot. What are you doing? Wait, I think... Oh. Is he dead? No, he's not. Okay. Gotta hand it to him, he just gave the Kai some free XP. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Eh, she could have gotten defense, but uh, fortunately not. Alright, so... You are gonna... Yeah, you're gonna get rid of this guy. This is gonna have a pain. And you, my friend, are gonna... Yeah, you're gonna do this. Door key, perfect. Guess I could send Leonardo. Alright, hopefully everything's good. Okay. Alright, so... I think we should be good now. Yeah. Yep, we're good. That was the last one. And you can go ahead and open that. Wait, who got the door key then? Uh, 
Ah, here we are. Okay, I was conf kind of confused. Nice. I think that's it. Because you get a uh, bonus XP based on how many you rescue. And we got all of them. So we should be good. Yep. Oh man, that was a close call right there with Fiona. Way too close for my liking. I got so lucky. Like, do 1 HP and she would have been dead. I feel like Azuka drugs him half the time though, because of the way he acts. Oh, trust me, we don't need to get rid of you. You're going to be leaving on your own terms anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if that if that didn't give it away of what she is, then uh, you, you'll see later on if you if you didn't catch that. But man, uh, that was an hour long episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like, man, that was a way too close. I put too many mistakes on that one. I actually didn't think that she was gonna die that easily. But see, the thing is that I got so caught up on making Fiona so good that I kind of like disregarded how bad she actually was, and she almost died right there. Way too close. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that laugh, man. And see you guys next time, cause uh, we're go we're gonna be I'm I will be leveling her up, man. Regard my word, I mean mark my words, I am gonna be making her really good. See you guys next time. <laughs>